This is a video of a tabletop rainfall simulator. And basically the simulator is used to demonstrate where the water goes uh, when comparing two different fields in a rainfall situation. So the process to do this demonstration is to drive these soil cutters into the soil uh, using a mallet, then carefully digging it up uh, so we do not disturb the soil structure within these pans. So the two different soils that I've chose today are from two different fields and this one is tilled frequently uh, for sure in the fall and in the spring and usually is in a corn soybean rotation. This year it was soybeans. Uh, this field over on my right is a field that has been no-till for five years and the producer utilizes a three crop rotation of corn, soybeans, and wheat. And after the wheat, they follow it with a diverse cover crop, uh, as you can see planted there today. So in this mix, there is millet, there's oats, some peas, and a few other different species. So a few other things to note. Uh, this is the cloud where the rain will uh, pour over the field. This is of course the topsoil of the field. This is what I like to think of the where the subsoil moisture goes. Uh, anything that soaks into the topsoil and, and keeps on moving is going to hit the subsoil and eventually might fill an aquifer uh, deep underground. This here pan is uh, what collects the runoff. So anything that does not soak into the soil will run off the field and potentially ends up in a lake or a stream. So when I demonstrate this, I'm pouring the same amount of water on both of the fields. And when I fill the water in these cups, it works out to be about a half inch of rain that I pour on each field. So right there we're at an inch rain. So some things you'll notice, and you might already, is uh, the different volumes of water in the different um, containers. On this field that does not have a very good soil health system, as you can see, not very much water has infiltrated at all. Uh, actually, it, it looks like very little has. So pretty much all of the, of the rain that fell on this field pretty much ran off the field and it uh, went into a lake or a stream. And as the water went down the field, it took sediments with it, and it took soil particles, it took nutrients, and now those sediments are likely uh, polluting a stream somewhere down, downstream. Uh, this healthy soil system here, it has pretty good soil structure, so the water was able to infiltrate into the field uh, I was able to get down to the root zones, the, the subsoil there. And as you can see, that, that water is a lot more clear than uh, this here runoff uh, that takes sediments with it. Um, really no sediments should be going with um, as it infiltrates through the soil because usually uh, the soil actually acts as a sort of a filter. The little bit of runoff that did 
come off the healthy field is very clear. Uh, so that's an indication of uh, this soil has good soil structure and it has strong soil aggregates that holds, um, holds the soil particles together and, and they don't run off the field.